June 29, 1942. Dear Jackie, this is the first letter I have ever written directly to my little son, and I'm thrilled to know that you can read it all by yourself. If you miss some of the words, I'm sure it will be because I do not write very plainly. Mother will help you in the case that I am sure. Glad to hear your voice over the long-distance telephone. It sounded as though I were right in the living room with you. You sounded as though you missed your daddy very much. I miss you too, more than anyone will ever know. Bad this work could have not been delayed a few more years so that I could grow up again with you and do, do with you all the things I plan to do when you're old enough to go to school. I thought how nice it would be for me to come home early in the afternoon and play ball with you and go mountain climbing and see the trees and brooks and learn about woodcraft, hunting, fishing, swimming, and things like that. I suppose you must be brave and put these things off for a little while. When you are a little bigger, you will know why your daddy is not home so much anymore. You know we have a big country and we have ideals as to how people should live and enjoy the riches of it and how each is born with equal rights to life, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. Certainly there are some countries in the world where they do not have these ideals, where a boy cannot grow up to be what he wants to be with no limits on his opportunities to be a great man, such as a great priest, statesman, doctor, soldier, businessman, etc. Because there are people and countries who want to change our nations, its ideals, forms of government, and way of life. We must leave our homes and families to fight. Even for the defense of our country, ideals, homes, and honor is an honor and a duty which your daddy has to do before he can come home to settle down with you and mother. When it is done, he is coming home to be with you always and forever. Wait just a little while longer. I am afraid it will be more than the two weeks you told me on the phone. In time, take good care of mother. Be a good boy and grow up to be a good young man. Study hard when you go to school. Be a leader in everything good in life. Be a good Catholic, and you can't help being a good American. Fair always. Strive to win, but if you must lose, lose like a gentleman and a good sportsman. You'll never be a quitter either in sports or in your business or profession when you grow up. Get all the education you can. Stay close to mother and follow her advice. Obey her in everything, no matter how you may at times disagree. She knows what is best and will never let you down or lead you away from the right and honorable things in life. Don't get back. You will have to be mother's protector because you will be the only one she has. You must grow up to take my place as well as your own in her life and heart. Love your grandmother and granddad as long as they live. They too will never let you down. Love your aunts and see them as often as you can. Last of all, don't ever forget your daddy. Pray for him to come back and if it's God's will that he does not, be the kind of boy and man your daddy wants you to be. Mother for me every night. Goodbye for now. With all my love and devotion for mother and you, your daddy.